Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message from Google Forms. Here my motive is that whenever a new Google Form will be submitted, that means whenever a new form response will be submitted through Google Forms, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to the person who have submitted the form. And to automate this entire process, we are going to create an automation workflow by following certain steps and the steps are trigger and action. Here our trigger will be Google Form and an action because we wanted to send WhatsApp messages, we are going to take Wati over here to send WhatsApp template messages to the person who is submitting the form. In case if you want, you can also take any other application in the place of Wati such as Interact or AI Sensei. And now in order to create this automation effortlessly, we are going to set up an integration between Google Forms and WhatsApp and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. With the help of Pabli Connect, we can easily create automations without any coding or programming skills by setting up integrations between various applications. So without any further wait, let's start learning this process step by step. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options over here, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And trust me, it is not going to take more than two minutes. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save our workflows. As you can find, I have two folders over here. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let us first of all provide a name over here. Send WhatsApp message from Google Forms. Okay, after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select test integrations folder. And now we will click on create. Now, as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. As I have already told you that we are going to create this automation with the help of trigger and actions. So now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the trigger provides commands to the entire workflow and the action follow that same commands. Now, let's suppose in this workflow, we are going to take Google Forms in our trigger and Vati through which we want to send WhatsApp template message in our action. And we want that as soon as a new form response will be captured from Google Forms over here in Public Connect, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that user who have submitted the form through Vati. Okay. Now here we can conclude that the action is a response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means whenever the form is submitted, then only the message is sent through Vati, otherwise not. Now, after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application over here, which is Google Forms. So let's select Google Form over here. And now we are going to select our trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So we will select new response received as our trigger event. As we want that whenever a new form will be submitted in Google Forms, the response of that form should be automatically captured here in Public Connect. And with that response, the workflow should get triggered. Okay, as we have done that, a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So basically, we need to follow these instructions in order to connect our Google Forms with Pabli Connect so that the response could be captured here. Okay, and for that, we are going to use this webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Forms towards Pabli Connect. Now, before setting up the connection, I'm going to take you towards my Google Forms. Now, let's suppose recently I have organized an event and to collect the feedback from the participants for that event, I have created a Google form and I have already sent the link of this Google form to all the participants and now I want that as soon as a participant is going to submit the feedback form automatically the response of that form should be captured in Pabli Connect and then automatically a thank you message should be sent to each of the participants on WhatsApp for submitting the form. So for connecting this Google form with Pabli Connect first of all we need to link the same form with Google Sheets and for doing that we'll go towards the response option and we will click on link to sheets. It is asking us two options, create a new spreadsheet or select existing spreadsheet. So I am going to select create a new spreadsheet. We'll click on create. And with this, our form is successfully linked with 
Google Sheets. Okay. So basically, whenever a person is going to submit our Google form, the response of that form will be captured first here in this particular spreadsheet. And we are going to connect the same spreadsheet with Pabli Connect so that the response could be captured in Pabli Connect too. Okay. And for doing that, first of all, we need to copy the webhook URL which is provided to us. Let's do that. And then we have to go towards extension option. Here we have to click on add-ons and then we have to click on get add-ons. When we will do that, it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webooks. So Pabli Connect Webooks is the add-on which we need to install in our Google Sheets. As you can find, I have already installed the add-on. I'm going to cross this and after installing, you also have to refresh the page once so that you can find Pabli Connect Webooks here under extension option. As we can find Pabli Connect Webooks over here, we will click on initial setup. And basically, in order to connect our spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, we have to do an initial setup in which we have to enter two details. First of all, the webhook URL and then the trigger column. Now let us paste the webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. And the next thing which we have to do is the trigger column. Now what is trigger column? The concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered up till this column, the response will be captured in Pabli Connect. Here in the background, you can find that I have five columns, A, B, C, D, E, and the column E is my trigger column. Why? Because I want that whenever the data will be entered up till this particular column, the response should be automatically sent towards Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to enter capital E. Okay, and now we are going to send the test data towards Pabli Connect. But before doing that, first of all, we will have to record the data here in spreadsheet. And that will be done as soon as a form will be submitted in Google Forms. So in order to capture the response, first of all, I'm going to submit this form. I will click on the send button and copy the link of the form. Let me first shorten the link. So we have copied the link and now we are going to open it in a new tab to submit the form. Okay. The form is open in front of us. So here I'm going to enter the details because I'm doing a test submission here. I'm going to enter test details. Let's start with a name. Let's say the name will be test user. Okay. A random contact number. And here I'm going to answer the questions. How satisfied were you with the event? Let me click on five and any overall feedback for the event. I have entered. It was, it was nice. Okay. Now after this, let's submit the form. And as the form is submitted, we will go back towards the spreadsheet. And here we can find that automatically the response is captured. Okay. Now we are going to send this same response towards Pabli Connect by clicking on send test data. Okay. And here our test data is sent towards Pabli Connect. We will submit the initial setup and click on cross. And now after sending the data, we have to do one more thing. We have to once again go towards extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks. And this time we have to click on send on events. Now, by doing this, we have made sure that whenever the data will be entered up till trigger column, the response will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect. Okay. And here our automation will keep on going. Let's go back towards Pabli Connect and we can find that we have already received the response of the form. So with this, we have successfully connected our Google form with Pabli Connect. And now whenever a new form will be submitted by a participant in Google form, automatically the same response will be captured in Pabli Connect also. So here we have received all the details, trigger column, timestamp, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, name of the person and the answers of the question. Okay, now we will move further. And now our next motive is to send WhatsApp message to the user who have submitted the form for saying thank you. And same thing I'm going to do with the help of Vati. Vati has the official API access of WhatsApp and with the help of it, we can create multiple templates for sending WhatsApp messages. Here in this automation, I'm going to use Vati for sending WhatsApp messages. Therefore, I'm going to connect Vati with Pabli Connect. So in case if you are using any other application for sending WhatsApp messages, such as Interact or AI Sensei, you can connect the same over here in the action application. Okay, let us select the action application as Vati. And now we will select the action event that will be send template message. We'll click on connect and here from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Vati account. As we have clicked on add new connection here, we have to enter two details, API endpoint and access token. Now from where we are going to find these details, the instructions are provided to us here. Okay, so for finding the details, we have to first of all go towards our Vati dashboard and then we have to click on API docs. Under API docs, we will find both the details. So let me take you towards my Vati account and here we will go towards API docs. And yes, we can find both the details are here. First of all, let us copy the API endpoint and we will paste it here in the field. The next is access token. So we will copy the access token also and we will simply paste it here in access token field. Done. Let's click on save. 
and with this our wati account is successfully connected with pabli connect in the same manner you have to connect your wati account okay after building the connection here are the details which we have to enter first of all it is asking us the whatsapp number now in this field we have to enter the number on which we want to send whatsapp message in my case i want to send whatsapp template message to the person who have submitted the feedback form in google forms okay so what i am going to do i am going to enter the number of the person over here but i have already received the number in my earlier response that is from google sheets response so i am simply going to map the same number over here now what is mapping mapping is inserting the data from previous step here our previous step is given when, when we will select that here are all the details we want to map the contact number which is given over here when we will select that it will be mapped automatically now when we have mapped this number it has become dynamic and now with each and every response this number is going to be replaced with a new number of a new person so whenever the new feedback form will be submitted in google forms and the response of that form will be captured here in pabli connect automatically this number is going to be replaced and in this way we are going to send whatsapp message to multiple people but in case if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response then the workflow will get stuck therefore in order to automate the entire process we use mapping now the next it is asking us is the template here we have to provide the template name in order to understand this i am going to take you towards my wati account and we will go back towards template section now here are multiple templates which i have created for different purposes to send the whatsapp message for feedbacks i have created this template named as thank you message let me open it and show you and this is the template with the name as thank you message the category which i have selected is marketing and i have used english language for sending the message this is the preview of the message okay in the broadcast title i have used thank you for your valuable feedback whatever you are going to select in your broadcast title is going to be shown in the bold in the header of your message okay in case if you want to attach a particular image along with the message you can also use broadcast title type as image the next is the body of the message here is the body hello name thank you for taking out time for us we are extremely grateful for your response we will definitely work on all the deviations and improve our services for making your experience more beautiful and memorable thanks and regards sparkle events so here my purpose is to send whatsapp message for saying thank you for the feedback form which is submitted by the participant in your case you can customize the message according to your choice here you can find that i have used variable in the place of name now by using variables we can very easily customize the message according to our choice so wherever in the message we will use variables the details of that place will get replaced with each and every response so in this way we are going to send the same message to multiple people in the customized format so the name is going to be replaced with new name of a new person every time the message will be sent okay the next is the sample content so whatever variable you will use in your message you also have to provide the sample content for that same variable as you can find i have used the variable for name so i have provided a dummy name over here as my sample content sample content does not require to be always exact you can also provide dummy details over here okay so after completing the template you also have to send it for approval and once it will get approved you can definitely use it in order to send whatsapp template messages to multiple people now my template is approved so i'm going to use it in order to send messages to the participants first of all let us go back towards pabli connect and here we can find that the template name is selected correct thank you message the next field is the broadcast name now here in this field we have to enter the broadcast title which we have used for our template so my broadcast title is thank you for your valuable feedback the same i'm going to enter over here we have to enter the exact broadcast title without any mistake thank you for your valuable feedback so i have entered the broadcast name and now the next and the very important step here in this workflow is custom parameters in this field we have to provide the name and the values of the variable which we have used in the template and that too in the same exact format which is given over here so what we are going to do we will simply copy the format and we will paste it here in this field and now we are going to make the necessary changes in the format only so in the place of name we have to provide the name of the variable and in place of value we have to provide the value which we want to use in place of that variable now i have used only one variable in my template that is for name so the name of my variable is name so i am going to enter name over here now in the value i want to put the name of the person who is submitting the form we have already received the name from our earlier response this is the name of the person test user here i have mapped it now when we have mapped this name it has become dynamic and it is going to be replaced with each and every response but whatever data we have entered manually that is the name of the variable has become static and it is not going to change with each and every response in the same manner you can map the value from previous response to make it dynamic now in case if you are using more than one variables then you have to use a comma over here a space and then once again you can copy and paste the format 
to enter the values for more than one variables okay in this way you can reduce the chance of error in your workflow now after entering all the details let's click on save and send test request button and we have received the response that means the message is sent on the number which we have mapped over here let's go and check towards whatsapp and yes, here we can find that we have received a message. Thank you for your valuable feedback. Hello, test user. Thank you for digging out for us. And the name here is test user. That means our workflow is perfectly successful. In the same manner, in the same manner, now whenever a person is going to submit the form in Google Forms, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to that same user along with their name. So we have successfully built an integration between Google Forms and WhatsApp. Let's go back towards Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken two simple steps over here, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets because we wanted to connect Google Forms with Pabli Connect and in action, we have taken Bati through which we wanted to send WhatsApp messages. And we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new response will be captured in Google Forms, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to the person who have submitted the form. And in this way, very easily by following the same steps, you can create this automation. And this is going to enable you to automatically send WhatsApp messages for Google Form submission. This was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.